This is part seven in a series of videos in which I've been attempting to repair this PDP-11. This is part of a CNC control system and I don't have the CNC hardware, I only have the PDP controller. And I've uh, had quite a few faults so far that I've shown in previous videos. And in the last video I was showing this um, test board and um, this has been set up to emulate a motor encoder home switch combination and so it's fed with um, the output from the DAC this is for the Z channel so we've got the output from the DAC on the PDP going into the uh, control board and it's uh, fed into the A to D converter of what is a PIC I've got a PIC running on here and it scales the incoming voltage it's a plus or minus 10 volt signal in fact you can see on the uh, multimeter on the left there that's showing the current output from the DAC um, the machine's powered off or at least the 5 volt uh, rail is off on the PDP at the moment it only has the um, plus or minus uh, rails powered up which is why we're getting uh, minus 10 volts showing um, but it scales that incoming voltage from the DAC into a uh, value it can make sense of. It uses that to output some pulses to simulate the uh, motion of the motor driving an encoder. It feeds those um, pulses into the uh, decoder board of the PDP and then it has, um, it has to translate this um, to and from 24 volts as well because the um, CNC controller uh, uses 24 volts for all the active elements and um, it also outputs a signal for the home switch at an appropriate position and it also monitors the motor control line coming from the PDP. So what should happen when the PDP is booted up? Uh, at least when it's in calibrate mode then it should start driving the motor back towards the home switch and the way I've got this set up, the three LEDs on the left are showing the lower three bits of the phase counter which is used to um, determine what particular phase signals will be sent out so they'll just kind of cycle through in a binary uh, count. The two LEDs on the right are showing the direction that the uh, simulator is effectively trying to drive the motor and the third LED from the right is the uh, axis home position for the z-axis of the CNC controller. There is another set of or another uh, home signal which is part of the encoder and that's a once per revolution signal that's given out from the encoder and the way this system is supposed to work is it should drive back to the home position and then this LED should come on but it should keep driving in the same direction until it sees the next home position pulse from the encoder and so what should happen when we power this up is the LEDs on the left should start flickering to indicate that we're providing pulses to, um, to simulate the encoder one of the two LEDs on the right should come on to show the direction it should keep doing that for a few seconds until the third LED comes on to show that we're passing the uh, z-axis uh, home switch and it should keep going until it sees the next um, home switch or home position sense pulse from the encoder. It should then reverse direction until it backs back off the home switch and then it will, it will probably just hunt about slightly uh, around the zero position that it's just um, worked out. So what it's trying to do here is figure out the zero position for the z-axis. On the multimeter we have the output from the deck so that should approach zero as we get close to the home position and it is proportional so it does um, slow the motor down as we get towards the uh, target position and then the yellow trace on the scope which is currently off screen is showing the DAC voltage uh, we'll kind of zoom right in to 50 millivolts per division so it looked very noisy um, but what should happen is when we get to the uh, final zero position you'll see it hunting up and down very slightly uh, which is how the CNC machine works and you'll see it constantly changing direction while it hunts about um, up and down past that zero position. 
Okay, so we'll get it powered up and see if it actually works. So it's now trying to drive back to the home position. We can see the direction LED is on. It'll keep going now until it hits the home position switch, which is the third LED. And it's now come on, so it keeps going now until it sees the next pulse from the encoder. We can see the voltage approaching zero. It's reverse direction, so it's driven off the home switch. And now it's just started hunting back and forth around that zero position. So it's um, showing a very slight change in voltage. You can see it kind of stepping up and down by about five or 10 millivolts. The DAC voltage is very close to zero. And we can see it's just constantly um, going back and forth around the home position. CNC machines do tend to do this. It's just the motor's kind of hunting very slightly and that's what the actual machine probably does as well so it does appear now that this is working exactly as it's supposed to so um, I think we're at a point now with this machine everything else seems to work so I think it's time to send this back to the owner and, uh, and see what results he can get with it